Hi everybody, I'm Jessica Cayley and I am one of the authors of the blog called Building Self-Esteem for a Healthy Place. And today I want to talk to you about my daily check-in process and how it helps me build stronger self-esteem. So before I started doing a daily check-in, I was stressed every minute because I was never sure if I was as ready as I needed to be for the day ahead. We all have personal challenges that can affect our success for the day. I want to tell you about mine and what I do to prepare for them. So you can think about your own challenges and how a daily check-in can help you manage them and build self-esteem. So in addition to self-esteem issues, I have type 1 diabetes, which means I need insulin all day, every day to stay alive. I wear two devices that help me manage my diabetes, an insulin pump and a continuous glucose monitoring system. Each of these has parts that need regular replacement. They also need to be calibrated and maintained to work properly. These items are my, self are my life support. And before my daily check-ins, there were too many times one of them required servicing while I was out of the house and I was unprepared, which meant I either left my office or the gathering I was at for the day or continued to keep going until I felt so sick that I could barely make the drive home. Now, neither of these occurrences left me feeling successful. Another of my personal challenges is bipolar type 2. This disorder keeps my moods shifting between depression and mania, and sometimes I would set myself up for an overcrowded day in a manic period, only to wake up the next morning too depressed to fulfill everything I committed to. This not only made me feel personally unsuccessful, it also made me seem flaky to the people who were depending on me. Everyone has their own set of challenges. And only you know the things that have the potential to make your day a flop. Here's how to start turning it around with a quick daily check-in. The first thing I do before I get out of bed is I do a physical check-in. I'm 63 years old, and if I slept in a weird position, my knee or my shoulder might be giving me trouble. There have been times when my diabetes equipment failed during the night, causing me to wake up with an extremely high blood sugar. Checking in physically takes only a few seconds and gives me my first clue as to how the rest of the day will run. If you have any physical ailments, you can start this way as well. The next thing I do while I feed the cats and make my coffee is check in with my mood. Anyone with mental health issues can do this too. Am I in a depression that will make motivating myself through the day difficult? Am I feeling a bit manic and need to be careful about committing during the day? This also only takes a minute or so and it helps build a deeper understanding of my mental health issues. The last part of my check-in comes while I'm sitting at my desk drinking my coffee. I look at my calendar to see what appointments I have that day. And I think about what I can do to prepare for them in advance. I look at the next couple of days as well to see how I can prepare for them too. Then I check the weather, something I ignored doing most of my life and therefore was always caught without an umbrella or snow boots or wiper fluid. Now I know exactly what I'm facing. And if I feel confident that I'm prepared and can manage it all, I'll take a look at my list of projects that I'm working on or want to work on next to see if I have the time and the mental and physical capability to ask, add a task or two from them to my day. But if the day looks grim during my check-in, I just stick to the mandatory items. So why does this work so well? Our self-esteem can plummet when we disappoint ourselves or others. Disappointment comes from expectations. We can manage our expectations for the day by doing a daily check-in. Get into the habit of looking at the day ahead 
before you leave the house? Do you need a sweater or an umbrella? How about an extra snack if you may be working late? Do pills or other medical items need replenishing? Avoid disappointing yourself and others with this quick daily exercise. Give it a try and let me know what you think. I love reading your comments. Have a great day.